Good morning, everyone. All righty. Welcome. Grab your mat, lay on your back, and let's get started. All right. Close your eyes and quiet your mind. Be still. Allow your attention to move inward. Let go of all thoughts, worry, and tension. and bring your attention to your breath. Give yourself now to a higher power, your Lord, your God, the universe, trust, and let go. Relax. Breathe in fully, and then exhale with a deep sigh. And again, breathe in fully, exhaling with a deep sigh, letting go even more. Feel a deep sense of contentment and peace in your heart. If you have an intention or affirmation, maybe a prayer, bring it into your awareness now. If you have an issue that you would like clarity on or resolution, bring that into your awareness at this time. And trust whatever happens will happen spontaneously and effortlessly. Let go of any effort to make anything happen. I am at peace with who I am now. All right, and now on your next inhale, I want you to stretch your arms above your head, stretching your legs out, reaching in opposite directions, stretch, stretch, and then leaving your arms above your head, exhale with a deep sigh. Let's do that again, inhale. Stretching in opposite directions, exhale. And then one more deep inhale, stretching, stretching, stretching in opposite direction. Exhale it all out. And then bring your arms back down to your sides. 
And we're going to do some deep muscle tension, tightening, 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 and exhaling, releasing. So on your next inhale, I want you to tense up every muscle in your body. Ready? Tighten, tighten, tighten. Hold your breath. And when you can't hold any more, exhale. Letting it all go. And then one more inhale, tighten every muscle in your body. Let it go. And then one last one, hold your breath as long as you can with your muscles tightened as tight as you can. Ready? Hold it, hold it, tighten. And then when you can't hold it anymore, exhale it, sigh it out. And just relax here and notice the tingling throughout your body. Just feel the back of your head into the mat. The root of your tailbone into the earth. I am at peace with who I am today. And let's begin our practice. Go ahead and roll over into all fours. Coming up, stacking the joints. Hips over knees, your feet are directly behind you. Placing your palms down into the mat, shoulders over elbows, elbows, over wrists, and just root here. Let's start with some hip circles. And again, the other direction. And then come back to neutral and let's do some cat cows. Dropping the belly on the inhale, looking up, arching the back, cow. Exhale, cat. Round the spine, looking down between the thumbs at your mat. Inhale, belly button drops to the mat, looking up. Exhaling, cow. Cat. <laughs> Inhaling, cow. Exhaling, cat. Around the spine. Just feel the energy of your breath. Inhale. Exhale, round the spine. Two more. Inhale, arch the spine, looking up. And round the spine. Last one. Exhale. Coming back to tabletop neutral spine. We're going to do some bird dogs here. And then reach your right arm out like as if you're shaking someone's hand and extend the left leg straight out. Really great for the core. Remember that belly button to the spine. Go ahead and circle out your ankle, your left ankle if you want. Feeling that energy up through the left arm, pressing into the earth, and then exhaling. Come back down, other side. Extend the left arm straight out right leg will go back in opposite directions reaching 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 circle out that right ankle if you choose and then coming back down to all fours let's do one more on each side extending the right hand out as if you're shaking someone's hand 
Extend the left leg straight out behind you, pointing in opposite directions. Reaching, reaching, reaching. Exhaling, coming back down to all fours. And the other side, left arm extends straight out as if you're shaking someone's hand. Right leg is straight back, reaching in opposite directions. And then coming back down to all fours. Feeling good, everybody? All right. Let's do some shoulders. Threading the needle, we're going to reach out with our right arm. And then we're going to come through underneath our left arm, laying the right shoulder down, the right ear down on the mat. Reaching the left arm straight out in front. Just feeling that nice stretch on the shoulder. This shouldn't hurt. You can always back off. Don't be afraid to use your blocks or a pillow. And then let's just take a few breaths here. And then coming back up to all fours, neutral spine, let's reset here. And when you're ready, reach the left arm straight out in line with your shoulder and then bring it through underneath the right armpit, laying the left shoulder and the left ear down on your mat, extending the right arm straight out in front of you. Just feeling that nice stretch on the shoulder tailbone reaching up towards the sky inhaling here for three breaths never having any pain back off if you do And then coming back up to all fours. And then we're going to go ahead and go into our first down dog. So go ahead and press your toes back, reaching the tailbone up towards the sky, pressing down through the palms. Index fingers are faced towards the front of the mat. Your arms are straight. Your heels are most likely up off the mat. That's okay. Just feel the energy from the tailbone, which is reaching towards the sky, down through the back of the legs, and just see if you can't press your heels a little bit more. You should feel that nice stretch along the hamstrings. Belly button to the spine. Try to engage your lat muscles right here. So you just kind of Shoulders out of the ears, and then just keep your head soft, your neck soft, and then breathing here. And then just slowly walk your hands towards your feet, your feet towards your hands, and just hang in a ragdoll. Just let your head hang heavy. Rock back and forth if you want. And then slowly roll yourself up to standing one vertebrae at a time. Hands at heart center. Let's close your eyes here and catch your breath. giving yourself love for showing up today. And then on your next inhale, reach up your hands in prayer up to the sky, looking up. And then just make sure your feet are grounded, hip 
like in line with your hips, so hip distance apart. We're going to do some side bends. So um, if you want, you can interlace the fingers and your pointer fingers can be out or you can do your hands in prayer. And then I want you to reach up and over towards your right. Inhaling as you reach and then exhaling as you re extend over. Feeling that nice side stretch along the left side of the body. Try not to crunch, just reaching up and over. And then inhale, coming back up. Take a breath here. And inhale, we're going to reach up over to the left. Feeling that nice stretch along the right side of the body. Up and over. And then come back up to center. We'll do one more on each side. Inhale, reach up. Belly button to the spine. Reaching over towards the right. Inhale, back up. Exhaling, left. Exhale, arms down by your side. All right, we're going to do some sun salutations. Inhale, hands to the sky. Exhale, forward fold. Inhaling, half a lift. Hands can be placed on the shins, knees, mat, flat back. Feel the energy of the top of your head reaching out forward. Should be hor um, vertical, horizontal to your mat right here. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale for half a lift. And then exhale, fold. This time we're going to step our feet back into plank. All right, this is plank. You can also come down to your knees. And then you're going to lower yourself down. And then inhale up into cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. This is vinyasa. Walk your feet up towards the top of your mat. Inhale for half a lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach your arms up to the sky. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half a lift, flat back. Exhale, step your feet back, plank. Chaturanga, lower yourself all the way down to the mat. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Three breaths here. And then come up to your front of your mat. One more sun salutation. Inhale for half a lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise up to the side. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half a lift. 
Exhale, step your feet back, plank, chaturanga, all the way down to your mat. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. And then three big breaths here, relax, rest. If you're tired, come down to child's pose and just rest. And then when you're ready, inhale the right leg up, point it towards the sky. Bend the knee and open up the hip. Feel that nice hip opener. And then rotate that hip back closed, bringing the knee towards the nose, stepping the right foot behind the right wrist. Coming up into crescent. Reach your arms up towards the sky. So here your hips should be facing forward. Your feet are like on a railroad track. If you don't have the balance, just come down to here, come to your knee, that's okay too. All right, reaching your hands up, Crescent Warrior. Feel the muscles in your legs working strong base here. Belly buttons in the spine, engage that core. And then we're gonna exhale, open up to warrior two, back foot spins to a 45, reaching out, looking out over the right fingertips. Knee is bent. The knee should not go over the front of the toes. Keep that knee in line with your ankle, reaching in opposite directions. Back foot's at a 45. Strong warrior here. And then inhale, we're gonna reverse the warrior, reach your arms up. Right arm up, left hand comes down along the back side of your hamstring, looking at your palm, reaching up and over. Beautiful reverse warrior. And then come back to warrior and then side angle. We're going to drop the right hand on the inside of the right knee, lifting the left hand up. Side angle, looking up at the left fingertips. And then coming down, your hands are on the inside of your right foot. Lizard, you can use your blocks here. Just feeling that stretch. Your feet are back on railroad tracks. can drop the back knee and then press back, stretching out the hamstring, half a split. And then coming back forward, place your hands down on the mat, stepping back into downward facing dog, right foot steps back to the left, Downward facing dog. Reaching that tailbone up towards the sky, pressing through the palms of the hands, feeling that engagement through the shoulder, back of shoulders, the lats. Relax the neck. Don't shrug your shoulders. All right. Another breath here. And when you're ready, lift the left leg up high, straight back. Open it up, open up the hip. Feeling that hip opener. And then rotating that hip closed and bringing the left knee towards the nose and then stepping the left foot behind the left wrist. And then reaching up, crescent. Strong legs here. You can come down to here if you like. Don't be afraid to modify. 
shoulders away from the ears, belly buttons towards the spine. Your hips are square to the front of the mat. And when you're ready, rotate your right foot, your back foot to 45, opening up in opposite directions, keeping the left knee bent, reaching out, looking over your left fingertips. Strong warrior. Feel the energy from the right glute all the way down to the back foot that's at a 45, reaching. And when you're ready, inhale and reverse your warrior. Left hand goes up to the sky, right hand goes back on the right inner part of the right thigh, looking up, the right hamstring and looking up. Remembering to breathe, don't hold your breath. And then exhaling, coming down to the inside of the left foot. For lizard, rotate the back foot. Your, um, your feet are back on like railroad tracks here. Don't be afraid to use your block. If you don't have the flexibility, it's okay. And then drop the back knee and coming into a half split here. And that nice stretch on the left hamstring. And then when you're ready, place your hand back down on the front of your mat, walking your hands forward a little bit, bringing your left knee back towards your right knee, pushing up into downward facing dog. And if you're tired, come to child's pose and we'll take three relaxing breaths here. And then go ahead and walk your feet up to meet your hands. We'll do another rag doll here, shaking it all out. And then slowly roll up to standing. We'll do some standing poses. All right, we're going to come into Tadasana. Okay, feet are rooted, hip distance apart. And then just feel that muscle engagement from the bottom of your feet, all the way up through the pelvic floor, belly button to the spine, shoulders down, rolling back, hands open, Tadasana. Feel the strength in your body. Just take a breath here and relax, feel strong. And when you're ready, bend the right knee and lift the right foot up off the floor. You can flex it, you can give it a little circle, roll out that ankle again if you want. Just feel the energy from the bottom of that left foot all the way up through the root of the crown of your head. You can also hold on. and then right foot down to meet the left. And we're gonna do the other side. Right foot is strong, left foot bend. Feel that belly button, engage the core back towards the spine. Feel strong right through here. And then drop the left foot back to meet the right, do it again. This time we'll extend our leg forward, straight right leg bent, and then extend it out if you can. And then place it down. Left foot up off the ground, strong in the right limb. Extend the left foot out. Whew. <laughs> 
and then place it down. All right, hands, heart center. We'll do our tree. Go ahead and grab the right foot and place it where you're comfortable, either above the ankle, it can be kickstand here, you can put it here, just never on the knee. You wanna be above or below the knee always. And then grow your beautiful, strong tree. And then exhale and come down. Place the right foot next to the left. And we'll switch sides. Bring the left foot above or below the knee. And the heart center. And if you're ready, grow your beautiful, strong tree. Maybe bring that intention, affirmation. To your awareness now. I'm at peace with who I am today. And then coming back down. Giving yourself love for showing up today. And then go ahead and come down to your mat, laying on your back. Feet are straight out in front of you. We'll bring the right knee in towards your chest, hug it in. And then taking the right knee, twisting over to the left, Cactus your right arm out, looking right. Supine twist. Just take a couple of breaths here. And then coming back onto your back, extending the right leg back down to meet the left, bringing the left knee in towards your chest, hugging it in. And then taking that left knee with your right hand and then twisting it over towards the right, cactusing out the left arm, looking left. Supine twist on the left. And just breathe here. You should feel yourself gain a little bit more distance with each exhale. Inhale. Never forcing anything, just allowing your body to move as it's comfortable. Couple more breaths here. And then rolling back on to your back, extending the left leg down to meet the right. Go ahead and place both feet on the mat, bending your knees. We're gonna do some bridges here. So have the energy of the bottoms of your feet pressing into the floor, engaging the belly button to the spine, pelvic floor, and then reach your pelvis up towards the sky, pressing down through the bottoms of your feet, reaching out. The energy should be going straight out to your knees, just feeling that engagement. Bridge. And then when you're ready, exhale. 
I'll do a couple more. Inhaling up. Bridge. Pressing the feet into the mat. Feeling that engagement. And when you're ready, come back down. Notice the space that you feel in your lower spine. And last one, inhaling, pelvis up, tilt it up. And when you're ready, I'll roll it back down. All right, let's do some figure four stretches. So take the right ankle and cross it over figure four. So the ankle bone, the outside ankle bone is resting um, just below the knee right there on the thigh. And then if you have the flexibility, you can clasp your fingers behind the left knee, hugging it in. Giving yourself a nice stretch along this glute. Hug it in if you have the flexibility. Should feel really, really good. And then when you're ready, go ahead and place both feet. Back down on the mat with the knees bent. This time, lift up your left foot, crossing the left ankle, just above the right knee, cross the thigh, clasping your hands behind the right hamstring, right knee area. And then just feeling that nice figure four stretch along the left glute. glute. And then placing both feet down on the mat, bringing both knees this time in, giving yourself a giant hug. And then when you're ready, extend both legs out, opening up your hands to receive, coming into our final shalasana. And I'd just like to guide you through a little bit of a meditation here, so just get comfortable. Stay on your back. Notice how your body feels now. Just feel yourself in a place you like to be. A place where you feel peaceful and calm. Relax and quiet. No concerns about your future or your past. Just simply an overwhelming experience of the rightness of things. Perhaps you're sitting on a beach, watching the waves meet the shore. Can you smell the scent 
of the salt in the air. Can you hear the sound of the seagull? Just trust whatever image is in your awareness. Just surrender the weight of your body completely. Breathe in the scents, the sights, and the smell of this beautiful place. Just let the whole experience permeate your body, your entire being. Absorb into each and every cell with each and every breath. Feeling through your bodily sensations what it is to be safe and at peace. Surrounded, protected by this place where you can deeply rest. Notice how restful and calm you are. And know that you can return to this place anytime you want. Keeping your eyes closed, begin to wiggle and move your fingers and toes. Waking up your body. Bend your knees again, pulling them into your chest, wrapping your arms around them, giving yourself a big hug. And then when you're ready, roll onto your right side curling up into a ball, being very still, keeping your eyes closed. Feeling calm and safe. Feel at peace. Remembering that affirmation intention that brought you here today. I'm at peace with who I am today. And then when you're ready, use your hands to press yourself up, sitting with your eyes still closed, bringing your hands to heart center Now put your right hand over your heart. Feel how quiet your heartbeat is. Be still and just feel it. Feel happy in your heart. And know that this very special place is always here for you 
anytime you want to come back to it. And now you may open your eyes. Thank you everyone for joining me for this beautiful practice. I wish you the most beautiful day. Namaste. Bye, everyone.